How's it going ladies and bruces? I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome to Stories Untold. Now I had no idea that the House Abandoned was going to become a fully fledged game. No idea. I was just trolling through the Steam new releases list and I saw the Stories Untold thumbnail thing and I thought man that that looks really similar to House Abandoned so I got it and I had a look at it and it's House Abandoned. It is. Now so there's four episodes. I'm going to do one episode per episode. One chapter per episode. It says that House Abandoned is remastered. I have played through it again. It is, from what I can tell, no different to the original House Abandoned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the weekly Scratch episode of House Abandoned into the Stories Untold playlist. And we will just continue from episode two. So today, we're going to be doing the lab conduct. Let's get into it. I'm pretty excited about this. I loved House Abandoned. It was so much fun. Such a cool idea, so unique. But yeah, I had no idea, no idea it was going to be like this. So exciting. We can finally figure out what's all our fault. Is it at the end of House Abandoned, the first one, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch that one. It was uploaded a long time ago. I think it's my most popular video on the channel at this point. But anyway, um, at the end you had to say it was all your fault before you killed yourself because you were standing behind yourself or something. It was confusing. So maybe it'll flesh out the story a bit more. That'd be really good. I don't know what's happening though at this point. What's in this one? This is subject. 12-19-86-23, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. Hmm. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. So... Aliens? A aliens? Subject J1986MEM is enclosed in, so in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. So we want the manual. X-ray. X-ray spec- X Electromagnetic spectrum. We need camera, monitor set to X-ray, and charge CC86 X-ray device. Okay, camera, monitor, x-ray, CC86. Okay, so camera, monitor, this infrared, x-ray, x-ray, CC86, that's this thing, right? Are we good? Oh, green book, yeah, go. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. This is weird. Holy shit, this is weird. Enter. We receive a new experiment task. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Okay, laser. Two? Red laser. Required apparatus LZR2 light generator, set wavelength, monitor set to RGB, so red 650 nanometers, LZR2 and monitor, so does that mean we still need the camera or do we turn the camera off? LZR, this one, is it 650 nanometers? And this needs to be at RGB, okay, that was easy. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okie dokie. It looks like a heart. It just looks like a heart to me. 
Use green laser. Uh, manual. Green is 510 nanometers, so same again, except 510. Yep. Okay. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okay. I can do that. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna break something though. Uh, blue. Blue is 455 nanometers. Well, this is easy. This is a lot easier than house abandoned so far, isn't it? Oh my god. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Oh, it's beating. Why? Resonant frequency. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 Hz sine wave with an amplifier gain set to 1. This sounds complicated. Jesus. Sine wave. Uh, signal generator. What was it? 250 Hz. Amplifier set to 1. Okay. 250 Hz amplifier set to 1. Oh, this has got the waves on it. Is this right? Well, this has got Hz on it. What's the amplifier, though? Is this the amplifier? Oh, we turn this off. We don't need that. How do you set that to 1? Huh. Okay, that worked. Cool. Okay, we're just cranking it up again, are we? 500 hertz sine wave amplifier gain of 5. Okay. Man, that tone is getting pretty high pitched. Nope, oh, too much. 5? Is that 5? There? Yep. Making my monitor fuck up. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase? See the risk of damage. What about uh velocity? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Firstly, why is volunteer in quotation marks? Am I being forced to do this? And secondly, don't kill me, asshole! <sighs> okay, switch to square wave, maintaining current frequency and gain. Okay, so that's... This one? Yep. I don't want to die. We're seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. But you need to trust us and keep going. Dude, if it seems uncomfortable and dangerous, it probably is. Maintain the gain of 5 and the square wave. Bring the waveform frequency to 1 kilohertz. Dude. I don't want to die here. I hope my brain doesn't explode. That would suck. <laughs> Can we get faster? 1 kilohertz is a long way away. Man, listen to that tone go up. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, and... 8, 9, boom. Go. Uh, we're gonna break the monitor. We're gonna break something. Ah. Full activity registering. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. If you turn off the fucking frequency generator, it would alleviate some of the discomfort. Can he hear us? Why are you asking that? Drill the surface. Oh dear. Four. Switch the drill on, ensure other equipment 
Except the camera and TV are switched off. Okay, so we can turn off this horrible fucking noise. Okay. Ugh. But the heart already exploded. What is that white thing? Holy shit. Ah. Now we've done it. How do you feel? Uh, Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. It doesn't seem like the situation's under control here. Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Are we dealing with aliens? It's glowing at me. Why? Oh. Hello. Who are you? Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. Hello. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Don't kill me. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. It's time to remember. Ow! Ah, Jesus! <laughs> Bastard. You fucking bastard! <laughs> Don't try to speak. Stay calm. You're a proxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. But it made my face bleed. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh. <laughs> what is this? Holy crap, now it's gone House Abandoned Tech's adventure on us. You wake up in a cryopod. Struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Look around. As usual. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight, and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Use computer. You tap at the screen, and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Uh, use door. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different, and not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else it hides. That's weird. It's like... Yeah. Ah! I don't understand. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. This is incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Tried. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Uh, look around. As usual. A crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flicker on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Uh, what do I... what do I do? Look at wreckage? Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order for you to free yourself. Move wreckage? With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, 
and walks towards you. Go to silhouette. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. Thank you. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. I don't feel very proud. I feel like this is going to kill us. I feel like this is a bad thing. I'm not having a good time. Jesus. Ah. What a nightmare. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. My favourite command, look around. We're in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room, with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. This doesn't add up. We didn't put this entity in quarantine, it expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They've tortured us. Remove wires? Nope. Oh. What'd I do? What just happened? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab 15. Find out what's going on. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Use the door. Stop. Specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. My god. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Now you want me to stop. Too late for that, son. Now I'm messing with people. I like it. <laughs> The fuck? Is that a tree? And an indicator? Ah! Who the fuck was that? Through the door we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and the lock clamps shut. We are alone. Together. Use device? What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. <sighs> Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We have to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. I don't know how to do this. What is this? Can I just, like, wing it and get it right? Oh, Jesus, I can. Fucking hell. I didn't understand that. Somehow it worked, though. They're all free. They're converging. It's over. Lots of aliens! What the fuck is happening? Don't kill me, aliens! Can't we be friends? I have to escape. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to look into this one. This is gonna go bad. What? Mr. Asian, please don't do this. We, we mean you. We mean death, no harm. Please, don't do something to our choice. Wait! Okay, I don't know how long that took, but that was chapter two. That was amazing. Whoa. And with the voice acting, House of Ben didn't have voice acting. That was so cool. I really, really liked that one. And I cannot wait to do chapter three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in chapter three.